Hey nerds, welcome back to the channel. And if you are new here, I apologize in advance. I am only going to give one warning before we go straight into the video. This channel is for tickle related content. If that's not really your thing, you might want to vacate the premises while you still can. If you're looking for more of my serious content, there is a link in the description for a channel that will be used to post more serious content? I don't know how to describe it right now. But anyways, we're gonna ignore that part and go straight into the video. A few days have passed since you had been ambushed by Jackson agreed to help him by distracting Kane. You were currently relaxing with Ragged outside. Kane didn't have any activities planned for today, so everyone had free time. It's pretty peaceful. Surprised we haven't been bothered yet. Hey, don't jinx us now, Rex. With our luck, Bubble will pop up. Ragatha giggled a bit at your words. She knew how much the sentient Bubble unnerved you. But, I do agree. It's pretty peaceful. The two of you sat there just enjoying the moment while it lasted. That was until the sound of footsteps began to approach you from behind. Whoa, didn't expect to see you two out here. Jax, of course you showed up now. <laughs> you have some nerve showing up after you pulled that prank. Looks like you and Kane weren't his only targets. Oh, come on, it wasn't that bad. You could have sworn you saw his grin widen, as cheeky as always. You still needed to get payback for the stunt he pulled a few days ago. Then, you had a light bulb moment. Quite literally, a light bulb appeared above your head. Hey, Ragatha, why don't we play a little game? Hmm? What type of game? With a small grin of your own, you stood from your spot before looking at Jax, who seemed confused by what you were doing. You then turn your head to Ragatha for a moment to meet her eye, your grin getting bigger. It's called... Wreck the Rabbit. And with that, you quickly wrap your arms around Jax's upper body, pulling him into a hug-like trap. Eh? What the hell? <laughs> Jax sputtered off into a fit of surprised laughter as he felt you dig your fingers into his ribs. <laughs> no, no, get, get, get off me. Oh, now I see. Wreck the Rabbit, huh? You could see the smirk on Ragatha's face as she walked over to the two of you. <laughs> no, <laughs> Rags, don't you? <laughs> Jax was trying to pry you off as you moved your hands closer to his armpits. The closer you got, the more he tried to push you away. Ragatha came up behind Jax and reached for his ears, wasting no time at all to scratch the backs of them. The two of you were a bit caught off guard by Jax's slight shriek. <laughs> no. No. Jax wasn't sure what to do with his hands. He didn't know whether to try and push you away or grab at Ragatha's hands. Why would you look at that? Never thought you'd be ticklish. <laughs> I'll definitely be using this against you the next time you decide to pull a prank. You snuck your hands up under Jax's arms and started tickling away at his armpits. He let out another slight shriek in response as his own arm shot down to his sides. <laughs> no. Aww, something wrong, Jax. <laughs> Too ticklish to take what you dish out. <laughs> Shut up! Well, that's not very nice. You and Ragatha teased him as your tickle attacks persisted. Ragatha was getting the inside of Jax's ears while your fingers scribbled away at his armpits. No! Oh god. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Never thought the high and mighty Jax would apologize. Are you really that sensitive? You could see Jax's blush of embarrassment. You couldn't help but laugh a bit at his predicament. <laughs> yes. What's the magic word? <laughs> you and Ragatha looked at each other for a moment before nodding, both of you increasing the pace and intensity of your tickling. Jax let out a scream before dissolving into a fit of uncontrollable sporadic laughter. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hmm. For someone who's sorry, you sure are swearing at us a lot. Oh, I know a spot we can get. You signal to Ragatha, who immediately knows what you're planning, and with a bit of struggle, you both get Jax onto the ground. You each take one of his feet before trapping his ankles into a headlock. <laughs> wait, 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 don't. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I really need this. I won't break you again, I promise. You and Ragatha sat there for a moment before you both simultaneously began tickling Jax's feet. Jax practically screamed out in laughter as you two wasted no time tickling him silly. Your fingers mercilessly targeted the beans on his soles while Ragatha went for his toes. You two were definitely getting your payback. <laughs> stop! Please stop begging me. 
You could hear Jack start to wheeze a bit with every scream and laugh. You didn't want to push it, so you signal to Ragatha to let up with her tickling. She follows your lead. You both keep tickling, but at a much slower and gentler pace. So, no more pranks, hmm? <laughs> no more. <laughs> Alright, we'll stop. And so you do. Both you and Ragatha let go of his ankles, to which Jax immediately curled into a ball, still giggling like a madman. Just remember, Jax. You go back on your word, and we tickle you till you have strength. Avon repeated the same thing he said to you mere days ago was satisfying. You and Ragatha leave the rabbit giggling in a little ball. Jax was a flustered mess, but he knew he was going to make both of you pay for that. 